Yo, what's up, guys? This is my second tutorial for today. I'm just on fire. Nah, not really. I'm bored out of my mind. But, uh, today I'm gonna be showing you how to get the best Hapage HD PVR quality. Uh, this is, I'm using Vegas, Sony Vegas Pro 10. So, uh, Pro 9 and Pro 8, I believe, are the same interface. So, they shouldn't have a compatibility problem. But, uh, you wanna go over here to, uh, Project Video Properties. See this little thing, yeah. And uh, basically, just make a template like I did, just using these, using these settings right here. Just copy all of this shit. Frame rate should be NTSC. Uh, you know. And uh, just use all this floating point, Gaussian, best. None. Best. 16 bit. Same sample rate. Alright. Now that you copy that, um, I'm gonna just hit OK. We'll get my clip that I'm gonna be using for today. This is a Hapaj HDPVR clip I recorded a long time ago. I've actually used it uh, for like a test one time. Uh, what you want to do is go to properties. Now, what you want to disable is resample. What this does is it makes a ghosting effect. Uh, I don't even know why anyone would even need this. Uh, it's like a waste of space in Sony Vegas, and it's like a waste of an option. So, uh, you can disable maintain aspect ratio. Uh, unless you plan on, you know, well, this this should be ticked unless you're rendering to like 480p or whatever. If you're downgrading it, loop is just useless, and this is just useless. Uh, and after that, what you want to do is go over to here, Event Pan Crop, where you can right click. And go to event video event pan crop. Uh, I made a template already. What you want to do is go to uh, just go over here. You can actually click and edit these. So just edit and make every all the dimensions the exact same. So uh, after doing that, what that what that crop does is remove all those black lines. The uh, that the hapage, uh puts in the image, which I really hate. You shouldn't even have to edit that. Uh, but the reason why those are there is because you get the best quality when using the uh, PS3 uh, preset for the uh, recording. When you record, you use the PS3 preset and you get the best quality for some reason. I don't know why, but it's just set up that way. Uh, after that, the clip. Games like Grand Theft Auto 4, their picture can be pretty dull and boring. So what you want to do, just gonna go over here to uh, sharpen. What this does is, oh, also I have a preset for, for this, and just, just put it to a uh, .002. And you can save that as a preset. And what it does, it cl it uh, kind of cleared up that. You can see, I'll just. Let you uh, see the difference. It's kind of blurry. Yeah, it just focuses uh, the image. And uh, let me just find a color correction. Uh, color curves are good. This is basically a universal color curve I Try Hard HD gave me. And as you can see, it makes a big difference and it brings out the colors of the picture. As you can see, it was dull before, it brought it out. This does affect render time, I'm going to tell you so. Uh, you better have a good processor and you better plan on waiting an extra 5-10 minutes depending on how long the clip is uh, versus the normal render time. And uh, these are different color corrections. I'm just going to use this one. And then the color curve kind of brightened it and the color corrector, it actually brought out the blue and some other various colors but uh uh when rendering hapage hd pvr clips they are big 
So, I mean, this clip is uh, 796 megabytes. So, I mean, it's, it's going to take a while. So just be patient. You might want to do something else. Go outside. Do something else. Uh, you know, I like to render videos at night when I was actually using my PVR. Because uh, it actually, when you wake up in the morning, the video should be done. And, uh, you know, it will be ready to upload. But, uh yeah just keep in mind color correction and actually editing uh... actually putting on these video effects will actually make the, the you know the video processing time a lot longer and the render time so um, just keep that in mind thanks for watching guys uh... this is basically my settings so uh... i, for, I almost forgot alright <laughs> my bad go to save as type select windows media video v11 I have a template right here and uh you can make your own template by just copying all these all these uh little settings just copy everything everything you see I have right here copy it everything everything high definition 1280 by 720 that's that's 720p uh I used to render my videos to 1080p and then the quality is the same so why why even waste your time you know stretching the picture out it's it's a waste of time and in the in it makes the render time a lot longer so it's pretty much a waste of time but um you know just copy those settings down and you will have good quality thanks for watching the video please give this a like as uh you know good render settings are hard to come by kind of so uh comment if you need any help uh, I'm out y'all